Welcome to the Icarus Beginners Tips and Tricks Tutorial. This video is made for players who are new to Icarus or may be struggling with being effective in game. We're not going to cover the game mechanics or methods of crafting or progressing through character levels or the tech tree. If you have absolutely no experience with survival games or Icarus then trust me this game makes it very easy to learn those things when you first start out. They're also covered in other Icarus videos. So from here on out we're going to assume that you already know how to do those things. So now we can skip straight to the goodies. Shelter. Icarus comes with numerous options of building materials, some of the first being thatch or wood. I wouldn't recommend using either of these as they're both easily damaged by the storm and wildlife attacks that can easily be set on fire by yourself or by nature when storms strike lightning they can set things on fire, they set the forest on fire, set trees on fire that can burn your building down so it's just not even worth it. Instead, I would highly recommend you focus on building yourself a base out of stone. That's if you even decide to build at all. Because in the early game, you don't actually need to build. I'm about to show you a cheaper and efficient way to shelter yourself from storms and those nasty aggressive bears. But now the following tips relate to the game in its current form which was released during Beta Weekend 2 early September of this year. If any of these tips are nullified by newer versions of the game, then that's all good. We'll just bring you more tips in the future. So here we go. If you are playing solo or if you just don't have the resources to build your stone hut or your stone base, which by the way is ideally what you want to be aiming for, then you can build a little eco rock shelter inside of any suitably sized rock on Icarus. This is achieved by using only your stone pickaxe. What you want to do is carve an entrance way into the rock. Make sure that it's wide enough to fit a human character through, but small enough so that the bears can't squeeze through or enter your shelter. Also you want to tunnel far enough into the rock so that the bears can't reach their paws down to you if they decide to attack you or swipe you with their paw. Additionally you can carve out a space big enough to place a small box for storage, a campfire or a bed roll. It's up to you. Sometimes you can even find rocks tall enough to build a multi-level shelter but we're not going to cover that in this video. Alrighty the next tip. This tip is something that we discovered while running around on Icarus and later found that other players had discovered the similar thing. Apparently it was even mentioned by Shroud so here's the theory. If you're sprinting around your character will become subject to fatigue. This fatigue comes on when your stamina level runs out and your character will start to move slower making it easier for you to be attacked and harder for you to reach safety. The theory goes that if you repeatedly coordinate your jump with your forward movement in a consistent rhythm, then you'll use less stamina, allowing you to be more efficient with your stamina during travels. This can help in situations when you need to reach a location before being caught in the storm, or if you are running from attacking animals or just traveling on foot in general. It's also been mentioned that this works even better when you are traveling down shallow sloping hillsides because your player spends more time in the air during the jump phase which allows your stamina to recover during their air time. However it does take a bit of practice and can be affected by in-game latency if you have high ping. Also it may or may not work in future updates of the game but for now just run around and give it a go see how you get on. The next tip is in regards to leveling up. Leveling up your character grants you points which you can use to unlock blueprints. These blueprints can gain you further crafting abilities in game. Leveling up is done when you have acquired enough XP to progress to the next character level. XP can be gained by taking various different actions in game. Some of which include gathering resources, mining ore, killing animals and crafting. The current trick at the moment is to craft bandages. Bandages grant you a heck of a lot of XP and they're really cheap to craft. However, we expect this may not remain like this in the future and the crafting system is still being balanced out by the developers of Icarus. So a more consistent, fast way to level up is to kill animals. Make sure you use stealth mode as often as possible when doing this by using the control key on your keyboard to crouch. This grants you multipliers, especially if you hit headshots. And you also get an awesome kill cam effect in some situations if you can one shot an animal while in stealth mode. The next tip should help you when killing animals, specifically deer, wolves and bears. Wolves can be a pain in the butt, so the most reliable way to kill them during the early stages of the game is to use your bow from a distance. 
Make sure you're in stealth mode and aiming for the head when you do this. Once a wolf has spotted you, it will approach and attack you, so make sure you deal as much head damage as possible before the chase begins. This way, when the wolf closes the distance on you, you can apply your close combat skills. Finish them off using an effective handheld weapon or tool. Most of the animals currently in game can be dispatched using the same technique. But beware because higher level animals are harder to kill. They may require more damage. You can employ any method you like to kill deers. They are low threat animal that are unlikely to harm you. But in the spirit of this tips and tricks video, we're going to show you how it's done the Marvi Seeker way. What you can do is build a bridge across a narrow stream of water. It needs to be at least two tiles wide. You can build your base on one of those tiles, but you need to leave one entire lane free for the deer to cross the river. On the side where you're building, you place a door on one of the walls that runs the same way that your bridge is running. Then open that door so that it blocks the free lane where the deer would be crossing. Any deer that attempts to cross the free lane of the bridge will walk into your door and stay glitched with its head poking through the door. This allows you to get a free and easy kill on deer, which are found in abundance around waterways. Now on to killing bears. Honestly, I have to admit when first dropping on Icarus, running into a bear was the scariest thing. Being mauled to death by a monster of that size and power can be quite overwhelming to the new Icarus prospect. But we got a couple ways in which you can use your intelligence to your advantage. Remember the rock shelter we built at the start of the video? What you can do is the following. Once a bear has been aggravated and becomes determined to track you down and kill you, your instincts will tell you to run. This is a good idea, you should run. But make sure that the bear is still aggro on you and following you. What you want to do is make it safely into your rock. The bear will stand around or on your rock and try to attack you. If it stands in the entrance way, you'll be at a safe distance where you can shoot arrows at it till it dies. If it goes around your rock or on top of the rock, then what you want to do is move your character around inside of your rock shelter into a position where you can look through the rock. You'll glitch your camera through the surface of the rock and you should be able to see the bear on the other side. If you can get a visual on the bear, then in a lot of these cases, this will allow you to draw your bow and glitch shot arrows through to the other side of the rock, making it easy to kill. If you find that your arrows are not going through the rock, then take out your pickaxe and carefully carve some of the inside of the shelter away until it is thin enough for you to glitch through. And finally, there's another way to kill bears. This is another method discovered by Marvi Seeker. This method involves taking the bear into water. Not just any water though, the water will need to be deep enough for you to dive to the bottom of the water outside of the bear's reach. This bear will stay over top of you and try and attack you, but you'll get free shots from your bow and arrow from the bottom of the water. You should even be able to get close enough to hit it with your spear without it even laying a paw on you. Before we finish up, I need you guys to do me a huge favor by liking this video. Subscribe to this channel and turn all notifications on. Follow Nilla the Goon on Twitch. Ah, cheers.